Hello everybody and welcome to a weekend vlog. So this is going to be my whole weekend. At the moment it's Friday, it's Friday afternoon. I thought I would start the vlog here and just take you along with what I get up to at the weekend. This is quite a busy weekend. Isabella's got a party to go to. I'm also so excited because I am going tomorrow to the London Help to Buy event and I am super excited about it. I'm going to take you along with me just in case you're interested in seeing what it's all about. Um, I'm so, so excited because that is how I'm going to be buying my first home. So I thought I would take you along my journey with me in how I started and then hopefully get my house and hopefully take you along that journey with me. I'm so excited. If you do like this video at any point, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when our next upload a video. So yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you in a bit. Love me like a stranger, like a melody. sit down quickly and show you what I picked up in Wilco's. I've got a bag and um, I also picked something else up which I totally forgot about and I'm going to share it with you in a second. I just like it when I do these vlogs. I really enjoyed the last one where I got to sit down and show you a little bit of what I bought because it's not enough for a haul so I thought I would include it in my vlogs and it's just so you're interested, well if you are interested in seeing what I bought this week or this day or whatever. Um, I mainly went in Wil Wilco's because I needed to go and get some paint. So I needed um, wood paint, um, not wood paint, satin, yeah, satin wood paint. I needed it because obviously I went and bought the paint in um, b and for the walls and then I totally forgot I needed to do all the woodwork first. So I've managed to now pick it up. I didn't, uh, when I, basically I was meant to be painting yesterday and this vlog was meant to start yesterday. Um, however, I never got around to doing it because I never got around to getting the paint and I can't do the, I don't know what my hands are doing, so just ignore that. Um, I don't want to do, I didn't want to start this vlog until I start getting my paint stuff basically. So you come along the journey with me to do my hallway. So excited. So I picked up in here, first thing that I picked up, in fact I haven't even got it. One second, be right back. So I've used this paint before and it's just the one coat satin from Wilco's. It was £13 and it's in pure brilliant white. So that was the main thing that I went in there for, to pick that up. So I'm happy I got that. The next thing that I picked up was these roller, this roller set for the doors so that when I do my woodwork and stuff, it's just easy. It's got the gloss roller and it's got the emulsion roller, but I usually gloss one. Um, so yeah, I've got that. I can't remember how much that was. I'm sure I've got the receipt in here somewhere. I'm sure I've got it, but anyway. Then as soon as I'm decorating, I obviously need a dust sheet, although when I done my bathroom, I don't know if you remember, the dust sheets were absolutely pointless, but I thought I would be good and try it anyway. I think these were like a pound or something, um, and it's just one dust sheet. I thought, I'm not spending loads on loads of them because they go everywhere anyway. Even when you stick them down, they seem to scoot across the floor. So I'll just make sure that I have a damp cloth ready to wipe up any drippage. So yeah, I've got that. Then I got... Then I've got some masking tape. So this is obviously for straight edges and things like that so that when I'm cutting in and all of that, don't get it on the ceiling and stuff. I'm also needing it for something that I've got on my doors in my hallway, which you will see when I'm doing my hallway. You will understand what I'm talking about. I don't want to get them with paint on it, so I've got masking tape for that. It's an essential when you're painting. Then I've got some Country Garden Seflora. This is my all-time favourite Seflora. I love this smell. This and Mountain Air is my absolute favourites. I just love this. So I haven't seen it for a while. They're only a pound in Wilco's. I haven't seen it for a while and I've got two. So I picked up two of those to stock up because I had run out of it and I haven't. I need to basically get my Country, country Garden fix because I haven't smelt it in a long while. So I'll use that and probably be on my next cleaning video. 
So I picked that up. Then I picked up this, which I thought was absolutely really good. I love stationery. Don't know about you, but I love a bit of stationery. And this here is just, it's just me. It's just so me. Um, I believe this was either pound fifty or £2. It was definitely not above that. I know that. Um, and it's just like this notepad thing that says things to do today. How cute is that in the grey and white? I just think that is so my my taste. If you don't already know me by now and if you are new here, welcome to the grey and white house because that is generally what I have. Um, and this is what I liked. I really liked it. I picked it up and I'll show you the inside. It's not just a notepad. Oh, no, no, no. It is. It's got... So let me try and get this in. So it's got the date at the top. Then it's got things to do today. Then it's got a little column for appointments. And then at the bottom, it's notes and sketches, right? So I thought that was so well laid out. And that will actually, it's got little tick boxes on a bit on the bit where that says things to do today. So you could even put your cleaning list down on that and then tick it off as you go. You could put anything you need to do in that day, tick it off. And then beside it, it has appointments. So any appointments you've got. And obviously you love the date on there and stuff like that. And this goes throughout the whole thing. And I just thought this was really, really good for the price. Because I'm sure it was £1.50. And it is so lovely. So, yeah, recommend getting that. Um, I love stationery. I love books. I've got so many notepads now. It's ridiculous. But I had to buy that. I, had, I couldn't walk away without it, basically. So then I got this sanding block. Basically explains what it is. Um, I'm going to be sanding down my doors and everything in a minute. Actually, I'm going to start doing it today. Um, so that I can get all the woodwork done. So yeah, it's just a sanding block. And I think it was like a pound or a pound fifty or something. It's not expensive anyway. And I'll say I think because my receipt doesn't seem to be in here. So that's no good, is it? But they're good, they're handy to have. They're just a lazy way of having to cover something with sanding paper basically, because normally you would anyway, that's a long story about sanding paper. Yeah, anyway. So then I picked up these, which I was super, 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 super excited about because this is part of my Christmas coming up stuff, right? So this, I'll just show you. These are to go on my table at Christmas time and look super pretty. You don't have to just have them for Christmas, by the way. You can have them all year round. And I'm, like, I'm actually considering just putting them out for display anyway. But I don't know if my kids will move them and my table gets a bit of a mess, which I'm hoping to try and stop that because I'm sick of my table getting a mess. I don't know if anyone else has a, t a table that is basically used as a dumping ground because that's what happens to my table. And it really annoys me. I have to clean it daily. And I don't mean clean, I mean tidy it. So, oh, so annoying. Anyway, obviously I need to clean it daily, but you know what I mean. I'm talking about the mess that's on top. So I have to tidy away that before I get to actually clean the table, which is really, really frustrating. Um, so anyway, I've got these. Look, you can see my camera in it. Oh, they're so pretty. So it's got like that, the indenty bits. This is charger plates, right? And they're in silver. These were, I think they were £2 or £2.50. reason I say that is because when I got it, they had, they also had this in like a rose gold or coppery. I don't think it was copper or rose gold because I'm sure on the label it said rose gold. Um, but my house is silver, grey, white and all of that. So this was perfect for me. They're quite big. They're just charger plates, right? So these would be perfect. I picked up four of them for now because I don't know if I'm going to need any more. My table does extend. But I thought they would be really, really pretty to have underneath all of my nice plates and stuff for dinner so basically Christmas I normally go to my mother-in-law's for dinner uh, for Christmas dinner but I may be doing a bit of a well I think I am going to do um a couple of days before invite my family round if that's the case I will have to pick more of these up but for now I just picked up four because at the moment I only have four place, places because I have four chairs and things like that so if I have to pick them up after I pick them up after but this is mainly for decoration for Christmas so I've already started on what I'm doing for Christmas I hope you're excited about it um, so yeah, I picked those up and they were really affordable and they're metal and they're just really nice. So I picked four of those up. And the last thing that I picked up that I totally, totally forgot about was actually not from Wilco's, it was from HomeSense. And when I saw it, I was like, I've got to have you, like, you are cute. I'll show you what it is. It's this. Look how cute that is. This was £6.99 and it's a pumpkin. And it's got all that glitter, you know, I like glitter and everything else. And it's got it all there, and I've got the pink on top. Now, I could have, obviously, if you've seen my DIY video, I could have done this myself. But for £6.99, there's no point. I've already got a um, silver and white one, so I thought this would look really nice next to it. And it's like that pinky, rose goldy colour. Um, and it's got the glitter on top. It's just absolutely stunning. And for £6.99, 
definitely was coming home with me. So I loved that. So that's all that I picked up basically in my little shopping trip today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna now start sanding down the woodwork and um, I'll see you in a minute. This is what my hallway is looking at at this moment in time. Um, so yeah, it's just very white. I mean, I'm keeping that mirror because um, it's gonna look nice against the gray and the walls are just completely mucked up. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but my son's drawn on these walls, but there's a hole in the wall where there was something that I had delivered and it come through. There is just all sorts. So I'm looking to sort this out. I've got my shoe storage up from Ikea. So that would be going up somewhere in this hallway. So yeah, I'm going to get on with sanding it all down now, all the woodwork um, and prepping it. So yeah. I got blood on my hands right now. And I'm stumbling. I've taken my hair out, my extensions, because they were really, really annoying me um, when I was standing down. So I took them out and scrunched my hair back so that I can get ready for decorating. Um, we just had dinner, um, it's still Friday, and we're now going to go to my mother-in-law's because um, Isabella has got boxing tonight and it's near there and we go there on a Friday night. So I'm going to catch up with them because I haven't seen them for a while. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been down there. My mother-in-law was supposed to be dining, um, decorating her dining room as well. So I'd be interested if she's actually done it because I haven't spoken to her for literally a week. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I'm all relaxed now to have a nice relaxing Friday evening. Well, I say relaxing, I'm going out, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So it is now Friday evening and I've got my little look. Oh, hello, Tinkerbell. Hello, say hello. Say hello. Oh, baby. Say hello. Say hello. Oh. So I, it's now Friday evening and I've just been to my mother-in-law's. We went there for the evening and um, quite chilled out. But basically my daughter has boxing on a Friday night. So that, and it's quite close to where she lives. So we normally go around there on a Friday. It's just our routine. She's still at boxing with her dad now and they're going to come back after. But I took Harrison home because he's yeah. so tired. It's currently eight o'clock and he's been so tired since he started school. And um, like he's actually wanting to go to bed <laughs> at a good time, which is good for me. But I just thought that, um, yeah, I've sanded down my hallway, all the woodwork, prepped and ready to go for painting. I'm not going to paint now until Sunday because, as you know, I've got the Help to Buy event tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be out all day. My daughter's got a party and all of that. If you can hear my cat in the background meowing, that is just plainly because um, – he is a starved cat. Well, he's not a starved cat. He gets fed better than everyone in this house, I tell you. But he makes it out like he's starving. Here he comes. Here he comes. What are you doing? Look, Tinkerbell's up. Say hello, Tinkerbell. This is Tinkerbell, my little puppy chihuahua doggy. She's not a puppy anymore, but she's my baby. She'll always be my baby. So, yeah, I thought that I would check in and I would sign out here for Friday. This is the Friday part of the weekend vlog, and I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So today is Saturday. Um, I've got up, and I'm really excited for today because today is the Help to Buy event that I'm going to. I am all dressed and ready to go. I'm wearing my blazer. I'm looking. I'm wearing my blazer, looking very smart, ready to meet the financial advisors and mortgage advisors. Um, so I'd be really interested to see what the difference is between shared ownership and help to buy with the equity loan. Um, I will tell you a little bit later on about how and what I found out from today um, for anyone that is interested in help to buy. Um, I'm super excited. I'm waiting for my sister at the moment because she's coming. We're going to get on a train and we're going to go up to London and go to the help to buy a London show. So yeah, I'm going to take you along with us and yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. I won't make it easy for you now You got too many times I 
home now I did get home and had to tend to my son because unfortunately he wasn't very well um he just all of a sudden turned ill and um, when I got home obviously because mum's home that's clearly what's happened there so I'm back home I've scrunched my hair back up taken my extensions out got my creased pajamas on <laughs> as you do very creased but I don't really care um, I've got my cat beside behind me trying to ask for more food and as you already know in this vlog he's always starving even though he's well fed. Um, yeah he's on my kitchen side so that's just the way it is. Um, I clean them up no problem so don't worry about that. But I've come home I've got my glass of wine because I needed it after today. Because today, if you didn't already know, which you would have known in my previous clips, I did go to London, the London Help to Buy event. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend, if you're looking into Help to Buy Shared Ownership and you've got unanswered questions, I would highly recommend going and having a look um, when they do their shows. Um, so obviously today was their London show and they don't just deal with London, so... If the developers have got things in other areas, for example, I'm looking at like Kent areas, so um, I'm looking at that type of thing, and they did have some, so it is honestly worth going. You literally get all of the people that you need to see, you know the people that you need to ring up and all of that in different places, well you get it all in the same place. You get your financial, bit. you get a financial advisor, you get a mortgage advice, uh, broker, um, you get the Housing Association and they all answer your questions. Every single question that you have, they're going to answer it. So I do highly recommend that you go and have a look um, when it's your next, the next show that's near you. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, I was actually quite shocked at what was in my affordability range. Like, when I say that, I mean because I'd had a lot of unanswered questions when I looked and searched online. So I wasn't quite sure. I mean, I don't know if anybody realised, like, thinks the same as me, but... When you think about mortgages and stuff like that, it becomes really scary and really like complex in, in your mind. Like you think, oh, I can't do that. But law of attraction and all that, you really can do it. Um, it's actually a lot more achievable than a lot of people think. And that's what I, definitely the key thing that I found out today and that I've got from today. So I um, highly recommend. I'm going to quickly show you because when we walked in, they gave us a goodie bag. They were so good there. They were literally tend to every, like they literally tend to you straight away. So as soon as you come in, there's someone there and they're telling you, this is what you need to be looking at. This is the map. This is where you need to go um, and things like that. And then when you do find, for example, if you wanted to just look at shared ownership, um, you could go and to the shared ownership stall and they'll literally tell you which places you need to go to just to talk about that. Or if you are looking at the help to buy, they do the exact same thing. But a lot of the developers and the housing associations um, do different things. So they do help to buy with the equity loan and shared ownership. So it's worth having a look at those. So don't think you're just narrowed down to just shared ownership. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it makes sense in my head. So it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I would actually like to do a separate video on this once I've gone through it. 
So let me know in the comments if you are interested in me doing a video like that is surrounded by buying your first home, help to buy, shared ownership, anything like that, because it looks like I'm going to have a lot of experience in it because that's the way that I'm going to be going. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really, really good and I wanted to let you know how I got on because I know you all know that I was really excited about it and honestly, I'm so glad I went. I came out feeling like pumped up, like, yes, let's do this, let's go and buy a house. Like, I felt like that. And also, I have a step-by-step -step thing that I need to do now because I now need to know who I need to talk to when I need to talk to them. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step of what I've got to do um, and I'll update you on how it is because, you know... It'd be really exciting for me to buy because I'm looking to buy pretty soon. So um, you will all be taking along the journey with me. But in the meantime, I've still got to paint my hallway. So even I still live here. So I'm going to be painting my hallway tomorrow. And I'm going to film that as well. Just a bit of me painting and things like that. So then I can show you my hallway when it's finished. And yeah, I'm feeling very content today. With my glass of wine, I'm feeling good. And I thought I'd check in with you, but I'm going to quickly show you what I've got in the pack. Like all different things I've got in the pack, it's really, really good. They had three pens galore everywhere in these stalls, and three things they were chucking at you basically. One stall gave me six pens. I mean, <laughs> clearly, I've got enough pens now, and I don't need to go to Poundland and buy any more. Well, obviously, I do because Poundland do the best pens, but still, I've got loads of pens. I don't know if you're like me, and you can, whenever you need a pen, you can never find one. That's what it's like in my household, anyway. I need to get more organised, I think. So, yeah, I thought I would check in with you and have a little chat about the help to buy and everything else. If you've got any questions, because obviously I've been to the event now and I do actually know a lot more of the process. If you have any questions, then follow me on my Instagram, which I'll put here. Um, and it's at Siobhan Breslin. Um, and in, uh, send me a DM. Send me a DM and with any questions that you may not quite know about help to buy. And I'll probably be able to answer it because I do... because I found out a lot myself today that I didn't couldn't find out from Google so yeah or you can follow me at at my little budget home which is my home account and you can ask me on there too um either way um but yeah so that was my day that was my Saturday I didn't film too much there because it was honestly so heaving it was really 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 busy and to get my camera out, which I did, you've seen me get my camera out a few times, but when I was actually in the event, it was so hard, and I was actually there for a purpose of actually buying a home, so I needed to take in all the information as quickly as I could, um, in all the busyness, so I just thought, I'll, I'll film what I can film, but I'll leave it at that, because I'd rather answer your questions on what I found out, rather than just filming basically a stall of leaflets, because that's all you would have seen anyway. Um, but yeah, I would like to answer any, anyone's questions that it has anything to do with help to buy or um, shared ownership. I also did a QA and a session with an expert, so you, to, you got to ask questions to the expert there, so it's like a seminar type thing. That was really good and really informative. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited, super pumped, super just everything, and I can't wait to take you along the journey with me when I finally go through the process of buying my first home, which I will put videos as well in my vlogs when I go and look for houses. I, I love watching other people when they're going and looking for houses, so I just thought it'd be really, really good if you can come along the entire journey with me. You can look at houses, even if I don't pick them, and you can be like, that is my journey. And then when I then do a house tour, oh God, I'm getting too ahead of myself now. But yeah, that is what's coming up. Um, but I'm still doing my DIY in my house that I'm living in now because I have to live here and I don't know how long I'm going to be living here for. So I may as well freshly decorate and everything else. And it gives you ideas as well of what you can do with your house and what looks good and not. And just part of my journey, basically. I don't know how many times it's a journey now, but I think it's time for me to take my wine. I've been filming this for 7 minutes and 49 seconds, so I think I'm going to have to edit a bit of this, because otherwise the whole vlog is going to be me talking a load of rubbish and babbling on. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it here. So, this is the little goodie bag that I got. It's a nice little goodie bag. And in it, we've got loads of stuff. Literally loads. So, we've got bit about shared ownership and that's literally just shared ownership and it tells you little case stories in there um like you know little bits in there by the fact that my legs on show 
um yeah and it just gives you like case stories of people that have done it and little bits of how much it would roughly be and things like that if you were moving by shared ownership this is the actual brochure they give you when you first walk in so it's the london home show is what i went to um and that just gives you the map of where you need to go in the thing as well and it gives you bits of everything really this is what i referred to when i was thinking about when i was looking at where i needed to go so we got that and i haven't seen most of this stuff so this is, i'm seeing it with you for the first time and um, this is countryside, so this is obviously one of the developers or estate agents that have got houses um, uh, from help to buy. It will tell you as well on there if any of them are um, shared ownership and things like that. And it's just a little brochure, basically. Then you get, what's this one? This is shared to buy again. So another thing about shared to buy just gives you the pros and cons and all of that which is really, really good. Red Loft, which is really good for shared ownership. Um, Clarion Housing, that's another developer or housing association. And that's just shared ownership. Here was a mortgage, I believe. It's, yeah, mortgage, fun uh, mortgage broker, basically. Mortgage financial, whatever. Mortgage broker. Um, and I actually spoke to these on this day and they were really, really helpful and really good. Then we've got Peabody and what they have to offer. That's the housing association and whatever they've got on in their catalogue. Then we've got another thing, shared ownership. And we've got basically loads of leaflets of different things. And this is the pen that I've got loads of. They gave me six of these pens. Red Loft. I've got two of those, actually. These, which is another trolley thing. So these are just always handy to have anyway, and I love a good freebie. So that was everything that I got. That was all the things that I got. Um, and yeah, I was quite happy to receive my little freebies. Get up in the morning and we'll start painting. So yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday and I have already started painting. As you can see, it's all over my hands. So I'm painting my whole way today and I'm going to show you clips of me painting it. You won't see the finished look today because obviously I'm going to upload this today and you're actually going to get a bit of live um, video basically because I'll be uploading today um, my whole weekend vlog, which is Sunday. So just see a little bit of me doing painting today, nothing too much um, because I'm going to save that for the reveal. Um, but yeah, let's get on painting. Life was dull until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away I was speechless when we first met, yeah You took the pain away Didn't mind my scars Mend my broken heart Life was dull until you came So 
here's a little sneak peek. So tuned. So I'm going to end the vlog here because I want to upload this on the same day. So you're going to get a bit of a lie of what we're doing today. Um, so if you did enjoy this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to see you on my next video.